All right, welcome back to Scrub Hub. I'm here with uh, Zephy Kun. Sup. All right. I've said sup all three times. Haven't I? <laughs> you have. I don't know okay, why. I don't know why we keep saying that. Like, sup, Death. Tell us what happened to you. I'm start about eleven o'clock, same day as we got the report in the park. We got a call from a nearby farmer that he saw a car crash. There's a farmer. Where is the farm? A bit less than a mile south of here. A mile That's away. Nice. How did he see the crash? His house is on that hill over there. Sorry, kid. But that farmer is telling you some tales. Pitch black night and close to a mile away over forest ground. I'm sure he heard the crash. But no way in hell did he see it. Was he specific on details on the crash? No, he wasn't. Okay then, so what did you and the sheriff see here? We looked around to see if there was a body. When we found none, we decided to call it a night. We were supposed to come back the next morning, but the sheriff didn't report in that morning. So you left the scene for two days. We put the cones and the barriers up that night, so I don't think it was tampered. Kid, the local wildlife are most likely to see these cones as a toilet, then a barrier. This whole scene is contaminated. God damn you. Sorry, I have to agree with her this time. It was pretty dumb leaving us alone this whole time. Anyway, let's look for some evidence. Dumbass Man, fucking deputy. This guy. He's so stupid. Like, I think my voice perfectly fits it. No, Why am I not surprised? Go on, read it. The young, the young rush as if they lack time. We're supposed to read it together. Oh, sorry. But if you, you rush too much, rush, you, you risk, risk losing all your time. time. Okay, so the young rush and Fuck. they lose time. I keep clicking it on it. Why does so, this look like it was made in, like, um, <laughs> PowerPoint? This looks like it was made in PowerPoint. <laughs> Legitimately, does. I swear to you, this is made in PowerPoint. It, it looks like it. Just like, so, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I collected a blood sample somehow when I was exiting what? out of the fucking thing. What the fuck? A bit of blood inside, but most of it seems outside the vehicle. So we can rule out the impact killing the driver. Well, no body yet, right? Any ID inside? A bunch of receipts in the floor. Let's get those just in case the car plates don't match with a missing person. Wow, you think this might be a stolen vehicle? They slammed pretty hard into that tree and it was a through straight, not even on a turn. They might have been driving fast to get away from something. You guys really think these three cases might be not might not be related? Well, we do agree that three cases is gruesome in a span of 48 hours, which is two days. If you're stupid, it's highly unusual for a town like this one. We should still account for the possibility that all three are separate, and it was pure happenstance that they happened so close to each other. Happenstance. Sheriff Davis seemed sure all three were related. I mean, look at that bottle up there. Can well, you smell that bottle? seemed sure. Pity Sheriff Davis isn't here. Yeah. Davis. So, so, so this tree is fucked up, man. Like you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Loosely sealed bottle of Merlot. There isn't much left. More shell casings. All three scenes said casings. It looked like whoever is responsible for fired at all these all his victims. This is the South. And we're not the country. We're not in the country. A lot of people carry guns around here. Good point, deputy. So the one with the sword was in the left. That is of, true. Of like, the wall. you try and take your gun, like guns, away from people in the south, they will fuck your day up. So okay, so there was one on the left of the wall in the sorority, and then at the second one, they were just sort of scattered about. See if there's anything else around here. Doesn't seem like anything up Do you here. You see those cones? Yeah. I was just trying to see. I love how you can just walk over the blood scene. Just damn, no problem. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Yeah, this is sort of great detectives. We just don't care. We get, we still get a job done. All right, I think that's everything. Unless there's something over here by the water. 
Watch out. Which I don't think there is. Zach, should I tell more sto- Apparently you can walk for a long time. Should I tell one of my happy stories of people slipping and falling and hitting their face? Oh, yeah, I love it. It's funny every <laughs> single time. <laughs> every single time? It gets funny every time. Okay. Whoa. Alright. So that's the three scenes, right? Yes, yeah, sir, ready. Okay, I can't believe there's a woman down here being a sheriff. Oh boy, and she's black. God damn, you're just reaching every stereotype there is, aren't you, girly? Wow. You're an asshole. It isn't even all piecing together. Did Lee Davis keep any of his case files, notes, or photos in his office? Most of the time, but last I saw him, he wanted to take the stuff home to study it. I have his spare keys if you want to see if he left the files in his house. I think we can learn more if we get access to his case files and notes. Let's go. Oh yeah. Breaking and entering with the law. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, as I was saying, hopefully we don't get rudely interrupted. God damn it. This <laughs> isn't Sheriff Davis's house. The no, famous no, man's house. Oh, whoops. The famous man's house. I'm excited. I have a feeling we'll get much better idea of what's going on when we find his case files. Objective. Learn as much as you can about Lee Davis. Find his case files. Okay, well, his name is Lee Davis. First name, last name. Okay, He's so... He's a sheriff. So, as I was saying before, we, um... All the lights are turned on. He must have left in a rush. Okay. Um, Zach, just remember these things as I just tell the story. Okay, yeah. Gun on the bedside table. Pretty intense. Do you see lots of violent crime around here, deputy? No, not really. Pretty peaceful town. These incidents are the first serious try thing to hit this town since a tornado two years ago. Tornado? Yes, sir. It was pretty bad. Some local business had to leave, actually. The U.S. Army was looking to buy some land here before the tornado hit. Did they end up buying? Nah, the tornado just dis dissuaded them pretty fast. Wow. Oh. Also, a lot of that land was in contention. Apparently, the family that bought it was going through some legal problems. Legal problems? Yeah, apparently years back they bought it off the Cherokee tribe. I told you earlier, apparently they swindled them and gave them a rotten deal for it. U.S. Army didn't want to get involved and lost interest in the land. Okay. This one is locked. Okay, so we'll figure out a way to unlock it. Anyway, why are there just two plants at the entrance here? Like, what the fuck? Uh, um, so... Fridge is full. Okay. So. Basically, what happened was. I, haven't, I was having one of those times where you're with a girl and you do the special special sauce. You do the knick knack, frick frack. Give a dog a bone, you know what I'm saying? If they catch your drift, then yeah. Camping equipment, tent food, water purifiers, flints, hunting uh, hunting knives. This guy was ready for Armageddon, eh? This sheriff was a U.S. Army Ranger, and the outdoors is in his blood. U.S. Army Ranger, eh? Interesting. Anyway, so... Okay, so we already read that. There's a shotgun. Anyway, before we read that, um, it was getting hot and heavy, and she started being that like oh I'm going to be all sexy and stuff and so she made me sit down on the bed and as she undressed in front of me she was starting to casually do that like sexy walk on over and she actually got to the point where she had taken a step slipped because I have hardwood floors and face planted straight into the ground breaking her nose and because she broke her nose in her bra and her panties she had blood on both but the lovely part about this is that 
she slips face plants and the first thing that goes through my mind is not that sh if she's okay but holy shit I'm fucked <laughs> she instantly just like got up and was just like oh god oh god and there's just blood pouring down her face and I'm like oh my god are you okay and just like trying to make sure she's okay and then at the same time I'm trying to figure out how is she going to explain this to anyone of how she broke her nose so then she like so we get the blood to stop pouring out and she's like can you can you fix it can you do anything and I just looked at her and I was like it's gonna hurt really really bad are you sure you want this to happen and she's like yeah 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 please just fix it I don't want anyone knowing I slipped and broke my nose or anything like that so I was like okay hold still so I took a pencil to keep it straight and I broke her nose back into place and so more blood came out and now she's like writhing in pain like freaking out I'm just like oh no I'm so screwed <laughs> almost too ready right lots of books there's a bible sticking out from the rest oh whoops I want the gun though that's what I was looking at you don't deserve the gun medal of honor Sheriff Davis was in the military. Yeah, okay, we already know this. If he is dead, whatever killed him must have been pretty intense. That is, if he's dead. With his car gone, it's most likely he isn't dead. I'm surprised he left so many of the, his firearms behind. I'm sure he's not walking around on him. Police reports 2004. Okay guide on how to modify okay, and then can't open that one so that is her set of keys the, there's, there's no, no car, car parked outside so I don't think those car keys yes his car is gone those aren't his house keys either uh, they don't look like the copy I have best way to hang on to these okay and then here's another letter another note again different handwriting this time what does it say? If you want to know the truth, John 6.34. Okay, that's, about, that's from the Bible. I was going to say that. Let's see if we can find one. Wow. Okay, well, you know where the Gee, Bible's at. I wonder where we could find a Bible. Wait. Sir, Sorry. they said. From now on, give us this bread. I wonder what that could mean. Most likely... Oh, sorry. Most likely something to do with the keys, since since he obviously left those for someone. Okay, I know where the storage unit's at. So these are like the case files from that. Lots of classic literature, photos from Antarctica, tons of firearms, award of excellent merit, so another army thing. Uh, man, this guy's packing heat. It is illegal, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Classics. Wow, you know your guns. I'm in America. I have to. Alright. <laughs> That's a All good excuse. This guy, this guy a hacker or something? He has so many computers. Okay. What hey, is it probably monitors for cameras or something? Download case file by L. Yes. Let's see. Hmm. When I open a file, all that comes up is nonsense for text. Let's be encrypted. Can you still copy the files into your flash drive? Yeah, it doesn't stop me from doing that. Very interesting. The man knows how to encrypt files, and yet choose to not lock them into his computer. Are you implying that he did that on purpose? Most likely. He didn't put up a password for the computer itself, as if he knew someone else would use it. That's odd. Copy the file anyway. We can probably find the key where the cypher's will code later. Oh, okay, now I figured it out. So, the keys lead to this thing down here. There, how to decipher the files. This one is locked. Okay, do I have to use the uh, thingy? No. Like, on the thing? Yeah, okay. So, keys. Probably not car keys. Okay, how do I... This one is locked. Yeah, I get it. I want to use the keys. Okay, if I do that, and items... Still, really? Okay. Hmm. That's frustrating. I know it. I have the keys to open it. How do I 
do the thing? I don't know. Okay, so can't get past that. We'll look at these two. Okay. Alright. So. I. Oh, okay, yeah. So I am confused as flock. Oh, okay, so what are the keys for? Keys are for storage. Storage, okay. We check the other file cabinet. Are you sure that's a storage unit right there? It's locked and it's like a file cabinet, so I feel like it is. Well, it's apparently not, so I guess we can't do it. Okay, well, um. Let's just leave, maybe we can come back later. See, like. Just forget about it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let's go over here really quick. I'm gonna grab the Bible. This book's passage, yes. Sir, they said, uh, from now on, give us bread. Give us this bread. Okay, okay you know, so what is so this? So, see, these are, like, storage units. Where they have, like, books and everything, and, like, the files. So... That's why I was thinking, maybe if I get something from over here, anything. All clean, all clean, all clean. This guy is a tidy kitchen, just gotta say. Alright, full fridge. Hmm. Okay. Should we, like, BRB and then, like, look it up? Oh, um, I could do this right now if you want. Uh, give me a second. I'm doing it right now. Oh, yeah. Alright, what's it called? Silver Creek? Silver Creek Falls. Alright, guys, we'll, we'll be right back. Alright, give us a few, and we'll see you next time. Alright, sayonara, adios kun.